Hi guys, so today I have a card that I've been thinking about making for a little while and I was contacted by Lisa at Local King um, yesterday? I think yesterday. To let me know that she uh, gave us another discount code for the month of July. She does have specials, monthly specials, but there are no other specials on her site right now. So she's giving us, I believe it was 20% off discount code. So I will have that information. Hopefully I'll remember to put it in here and I'll have it in the uh, description uh, box. These are things that I did pick up on my own in my last haul, but um, I did want to give you guys that information since July just kicked off and I just got that information. I was like, oh, you know what? Let me make a video. So in case um, you guys are still interested in um, making other purchases that uh, you didn't make at the end of last month, right, with the extra discount code that we had, you can definitely use that 20% off now. So I'll have that for you with the expiration day. I don't remember if it was the whole month or just half the month, so I'm not gonna, but it'll be there. If there are any um, links to other items that are not Local King, they will be affiliate links, which means I make a small commission if you buy any um, of the items from those links, but I think for this video, I'm not sure that there will be any, because it's basically this and maybe some ink and things that I'll be using, but, um, but if you do pick up from Local King, again, I'm not an affiliate with them. I just uh, like to review things. And these are things that I picked up. So <laughs> this is uh, definitely just something I, I, I wanted to put together here uh, from some products that I picked up. Um, so it is going to take both of these sets in that I did buy, I think, a background set for Bamboo um, last month, um, you know, during her sale. So I'm waiting for that to come in. But for right now, I do have this little Bamboo stamp in here. So that's what I'm going to be using because I want to use that. But if you're interested in this, it's called Cuddle Time and it has the stamp set. And then I believe this one is separate. I don't think they're a combo. I think you have to buy them separately. Um, then you have the dies for it, which are really cool. But today I'm going to use this. And with that same technique we did the other day where I just kind of use black ink uh, to make it pop. But this time we're going to use green and green inks and green paper. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And then I've been wanting to use this guy and he's so cute. So this hop to it. But since I'm doing a green background, I don't really want the frog to be green too. So I'm going to use this guy. It's nice and big. Um, again, I believe these are also sold separately, but I'll have the links for those things. And um, so I'm going to do him in different colors, more tropical, which I don't know if bamboo and I, I think that stuff grows together, right? I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it'd be cute. So I'm going to definitely use the dye. I'm going to use the little dude. Um, I don't know that we're going to do the tape technique with this one. I think I'm just going to leave it alone, but um, you can always use the packing tape like Lisa shows and get a nice, really um, shiny look to him. Maybe I will. Now that I think about it, I kind of want to. We will see. We will see. Um, but if we do that, it'll be the packing tape, and you'll see that in just a minute. So what I need to do is get some paper, and we'll get our background going, then we'll make our little creature, and we'll put it all together to make a fun card. Okay, to get started, we're going to get this stamped out. And of course, I didn't get any kind of stamping tool out yet, but I'm just going to get this little guy. And this should be big enough. Oopsie. And I'm just going to stamp this up with some um, Versamark. Where did I put my Versamark? I used it the other day and I see, oh, there it is. Kind of fell back. <laughs> um, so this is not going to be something that you can see very easily. Um, but we're going to get started. I just want to make sure that's really on there because this is going to be important for this whole design. So I'll start like here. Oh, nice and stuck. And then you can kind of see what you're doing. If you really kind of look up close, you see that little darker right there. So it's not impossible to tell. And I don't know that I'm going to keep it lined up because that's going to look kind of lame. So I'm going to do this one kind of a little bit crooked maybe. Right? And I kind of cut it. Look, I probably could have gone like shorter with that one just to bring it down a little bit. And then just so it looks a little bit different here and there, you know, and maybe this one I'll do short and kind of go in the other direction. Okay. And then this you just wipe. I would normally wipe with like a wet towel, but right now I'm just going to wipe with this because this stuff is very sticky, sticky. Um, and you don't really want that residue on there for the next time, especially if you're going to do, you know, some of the little tricks that we do. It might look kind of funky. Um, so make sure to clean that off and I'm going to bring over <laughs> the same tired little, uh, coffee filter I've been using for a while. And I have some, uh, embossing powder. This has quickly become my favorite embossing powder, this Ranger super fine detail. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. It works a lot better than the Crafters Companion basic one. I don't know if they have a super fine one, but the basic one I've been using, it always kind of repels, not very well. Um, I, it's okay. 
but it just doesn't look that great. So, and what I mean by repel is when you go to heat it up, it just kind of like makes splotches instead of making like a nice flat design. And I don't know if you ever noticed when you watch like Crafters TV with like Leanne or something, she'll do like two or three coats. And I always thought, oh, it's because she wants to build it up, but really it's because <laughs> it needs that much to look really nice. Oh, I told a gal on here, next time I do embossing, I will bring out my uh, embossing buddy. It's just this little pad that you rub before you do your stamping and then it takes any static away from your, um, your uh, project right off your paper so that when you go to emboss, it just sticks where you want it to. But again, I have that stuff all over the place. I can feel it. Um, I can see that it's not really a problem. Like right here is a little bit. But it's because in that last video I did the rainbow um, effect on the background. It looked like it stuck on everything, but it really did stick where I wanted it. But it just looked like the whole thing was completely covered. So again, if you have to do an inking background, just make sure it's nice and dry before you do your embossing or use that embossing buddy and make sure it's dry. So there's a couple things we can do. I'm just gonna... Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? So we're just gonna heat that up. I'm gonna use my little tool that I got at Daiso not too long ago because I can hold it here and not get too close to my hands. So again, with embossing, as soon as you see that it's turning glossy, just go to the next thing. Right, you can see how it's changing color there. I just move on. And I was like, yeah, I have two embossing buddies. I will definitely bring it out right now. And then I totally forgot. <laughs> I even said it on a uh, comment just the other day. I was like, I'll go do that right now so I remember to use it. I have them, actually, it's right next to me in this thing, but there's things in front, so I can't open the door to get it as easily. So I was like, I'll bring it out. So that's the only place I saw there. I could have wiped that away with a brush, but I didn't. So anyway, so there's this here. I'm going to wait till this cools off a little bit because it's still, but look at that. Look how nicely and basically almost perfect that is, right? Yeah, not every uh, embossing powder will do it for you that way, and you want to do two or three coats, so it looks really nice. So I'm going to let this cool off, and then we're going to um, just color it in with some All dark right. green. So I have this Modelon Distress Ink. Oopsie. Let's put that back. Which, obviously, I have never used. Hopefully, it's a darker green. It looks like it's darker. Um, cut this. Oh, it was already almost open. What's up with that? All right. And I'm just going to take my magic mushroom here, the green one. And again, I cleaned it last time I used it, so as you can see, it's clean. I'm going to make sure none of that embossing powder is hanging around here. Even if you use the thing, like, it goes everywhere. Um, and this one, all I'm going to do is color in the whole thing. Oh, that's so pretty. That's such a pretty color. Okay, good. I'm just going to color in the whole thing, so I don't really care how this looks. <laughs> I mean, obviously you want it to look nice, but I'm, I want the whole background to be super green. And I guess you can be a little darker in some areas and lighter in others. However, I just wanted to get this color down. I guess it would be kind of nice to try to, like this side where it was dark right here, that looked really pretty. Maybe try to do a little more of that. I was just, in my mind, get the color down and that's it. That's kind of all I wanted to do. Again, if you want to do a little more, put it in a different shade of green, you know, do a little more to color that in, but that's all I wanted. And um, in the last video, I forgot to mention to clean these off. I kind of just do this kind of thing and then just spray it with a little water. And then just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then use another area of your towel that <laughs> hopefully is not wet and has other colors. And then just give it a check. I can see that still has some on it, so I just want to get that going. Eh, a little bit. All right, so now we're clean. Okay, and that's all you do. Um, now, this is water reactive ink, so if I wanted to hit it with some water just to do a little fun, you can definitely do that. But what I do want to do is go ahead and take that same little towel and just wipe off any of the green ink that might be on the embossing powder. And that just helps the color pop from underneath. 
and I was really rubbing and you know why because these little fine lines that are in between like this I wanted that to get dark green so that it gives some uh, contrast there right so pretty oh my gosh can you imagine cutting this out with the dye too? Oh, so pretty. Anyway, all right, so that's our background and I'm gonna let this, I can feel it's kind of wet, so I'm gonna let that dry. And again, that was mowed lawn. Distressed ink, okay. So with this guy, I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them on here just because if I have to stamp it a, a second time to get the vibrancy, because I am gonna use just regular paper. Again, we discovered that Nina paper was really nice to stamp with. Oh, let me put this where I want it to be and um but today I'll probably be using just stamping paper which oh you know what no I, I'll get my Nina I'm gonna take this eraser and just prep this stamp since I haven't used it before and that was just a tip that Lisa gave just in case your ink wants to repel to just go ahead and use a rubber eraser I keep telling myself I need to go grab a pink pearl eraser from the kids room and I never do one of those big erasers just to give you a nice surface to start with in case it's too slick. The first time, you don't have to do it every time you stamp. Okay, um, let me get that Nina paper, paper going and then we'll just okay, get going. so what's funny about this paper, I got this at an expo, I don't even know, easily 10 years ago. I was gonna say, I don't know if it's still right, but it does say Classic Crest Solar White, 10 sheets for $3.99. This was from Crazy Creations, um, which are still out there. They're a good, fun company you can check out. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do that. I just cut a piece of the paper here, so I'll put that to the side for now. And let's get this going. So, since like I said, I don't want it to be green and green and green and everything green, I'm gonna make him kind of tropical looking, but I was thinking about, there's uh, frogs that are like black with like yellow and orange spots, which are really cute. Aren't those the poisonous ones? I don't know. And then there's like a little turquoisey ones that I thought that will be cute. I'll do one that's like blue and turquoisey. So I think I'm gonna use this color. I just wanna see what, yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, we'll use those two. We need black for sure. And in the smaller set of the um, stamp, uh, the markers, this is a very dark brown. I always grab it and think it's black, but black is over here <laughs> by the gray. Okay, so black is a little bit different. And then maybe some greens. Well, obviously some greens. I'll do the light green and the deeper green. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, that's a good green. I still haven't opened my larger pack yet. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we'll go with the lighter and this darker green. I think that's all the colors I'll need. So very simple. So we'll start with our little guy here. And I can see that this is blue. That looks like a piece of the plant there. So I'm just trying to see what we got. I'm going to go with the light blue pretty much everywhere to start because I'm just going to accent him with the deeper blue. I'm trying to color his little leg. I'm trying to see how much body is on here. Okay. This one definitely does have a little more detail you want to get into. And I know sometimes they have like red eyeballs. Oh, Lisa has a whole video on how to make like popped out eyeballs that are really fun. And let me see here. So I'm basically just trying to get this color down his whole little body, his little feetsies here. Okay. And then just trying to see what's up with his leg, where it's coming from. It's behind the leg. Okay. So that's the lighter one. And here's the darker one. The darker I'm going to go like on top of his little body here. Maybe just a little bit on his little leg. It'll just be something that's kind of like on the outer parts of his little body. And then... Actually, let me do a little more of that. Oh, is that the light blue again? Darn it. <laughs> I got confused there. And let's get the black, and I'll do his little eyeballs around his eyes, and maybe around his little mouth, nostrils, and his little toesies. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> okay. Now let's go in with the green. So I'm going to use the lightest green color. Trying to keep my marker as flat as I can so I don't have streaks, but that's just really colored in really nicely. 
No, let me see. Here, here, and here. I missed the spot over here. Okay. And if the tip of your marker gets a little darker color, I just wipe it off and it'll be good to go. And I'm going to go in here and in here. Some dots here and there. All right. And again, you do not have to do this, but I do it every time. I give it a little huff. <laughs> so I'm laying up my paper right at the end. So we can then stamp. And I probably do this for too long. I think Lisa says like a count of three is probably good. Oh, he's so cute. Now that's pretty good. Hmm. That's pretty darn good. Um, I just think, did I use the black? You know what? <laughs> I was just saying, I used the black, didn't I? Was I doing using black, guys? I don't even know, but he looks really awesome, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do this time again for the second stamping, even though he looks pretty great, I think what I'm going to do is wipe I this down. I can tell when, so I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to go with the light blue and the light green. And I'm going to try to add in some turquoise under here since I did black. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so let's do this again with the lighter color. So light blue, his whole little body. At least I always recommends with the second stamping to just pretty much use the light colors, but then I always end up going through and I pretty much just color the whole thing again, but that's just me. But I'm just going to do the light blue this time. And then our deep blue, I don't know what I was doing that last time, um, under his little mouth here. And then like in this area, just to add a little more since I used pretty much black earlier. Okay. And then I'm just going to do the green leaf with the light green. I'm not going to go back in with the dark green. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I was thinking, I'm like, oh, no, if I get the blue in here. But it doesn't matter because if you get the blue and you use the light green over it, it'll just make it green again. Like, it'll just darken to, like, a darker green with that blue kind of mixed in. So that worked out well. Okay. Okay, again, that was quick, but I'm just going to give it a huff anyway. <sighs> Line that right back up in the corner. And let's do our stamp. Woo, look at that much more crisp. And then that little deep turquoise blue kind of, I can see it pretty well. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. It always, and you guys are so funny because you, you guys are like, you you always get so surprised because it's so pretty. It's like, oh, wow, you know? Um, okay, let's see about taping this. So this is funny. I have two different tapes. This is actual packaging tape that, you know, um, was not inexpensive, but this one is cheap packaging tape from the Dollar Tree, which I don't think I've tried yet. So I don't really want to use this one more expensive one. I'll use this cheaper one and see what we think. Now I was trying to think, should I just get the frog? But it's kind of hard to do. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the majority of this frog in here with his leaf and then maybe I'll put some more on the little foot area so that's pretty good and then his little foot kind of needs a little more here oh and this was also in my car just kind of sitting there so you see that black edge probably got a bunch of lint stuck to it uh, let me get this last little piece for his little foot and there's a little piece of that left. I don't think I really need to put that on there, but I'll get one more little piece. As you can see, I'm struggling with this Dollar Tree tape. So maybe this is not the best one. <laughs> it's just, it's really thin. That's the other thing about this stuff. It's not super nice. I'm gonna get another little piece off of here. There we go. Just to add it here to the very end. Okay, so let's get our die. Cut this little guy out. So cute. Again, definitely tape it because even if you're going to run it through like your marquee that's super close, um, a lot of times what happens is it will slide because it's slick. 
Okay, I'm going to put that piece of tape. I'm also going to put another piece of tape on here. And I am going to use a piece of foam to help me cut this out so that I have some dimension with my marquee. And um, again, you don't have to just throw the foam out, or I like to reuse it. Um, you can pop it out and use it as a dimensional. But let me clear this area so I can bring out my marquee. Right. So I'm just going to place this on here just to give me that thickness. And let's go. Again, if you're using just any other um, machine, you run it through. You can run it through, you know, an emboss and cut at the same time, like with the Anna Griffin, what if you're going to stick it in to go into your magnetic mat, but I hardly ever do that. So just use whatever, however it is that your machine works. And I can already see the nice dimension. Can you see that? It's all shiny. So cool. So what I was trying to say is this guy, like, if I don't want to pop this out, I can just keep reusing the same piece of foam the next time I have something to do. But um, if you want to pop it out, you can definitely pop it out. And I would have cut it out in green or something if I wanted to use this right now. But you can then stick this piece behind your little, your little uh, item here. But that's not my goal, so I'm just going to take this off of here. And pop this little guy out. So because of the tape, I'm going to have to kind of really pay attention to this. So I am going to carefully, carefully go through and remove that. So the last time I used packaging tape, it did not act this way. So I don't know what it's doing this time, but it's being kind of a pain. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run it through one more time, just the, the die. You know what I'm saying? Just this. Ooh. Without the foam. Hopefully that gets it. Yeah, I can see it's completely cut out. I don't know what it was doing before, but... Boop, boop, boop. Here we go. That's much better. I'm just trying to be careful with it. I don't want to just like pull it away because that would be not good. All right, Dollar Tree packaging tape, not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm sure I hurt their feelings, at least for this project. It's not that great. Okay, there we go. And what I'm gonna do is trim around these edges that didn't quite get trimmed from the tape. So I am gonna take a minute to do that and I will be RB. All right, so all things being equal, I guess, I don't know, I've done this exact same thing before in the marquee with uh, better tape. So maybe it has to be thicker, that thinness of it just made it so, I don't know. Um, really cute though, he has his little arm here that, um, that has some little dimensionality to it. So cute, let me try to get this. Aww. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on a black card base just to make it pop more. So this is just your standard A2 size paper, eight and a half by five and a half, and normally scored in the middle, but I'm just folding it. And then we'll bring this guy back. Oh, so pretty. I just wanna tell you, this thing, this cutter, I, I don't trust it that much, but anyway, I've already reviewed that before. Like, to me, it needs to be just a little bit smaller, maybe just the way I cut it. Yeah, look, five and a quarter. So I'm gonna say, it didn't quite mat at the top. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use a wet glue because I just ran out of my tape runner and I haven't opened another one yet. I don't want that glue. We'll use this one. So tacky glue a lot of times reactivates your paper and makes it wonky, so I do not like that, especially for matting because we put a lot of glue. And this is just an all-purpose glue. So when I mentioned if I have links, it'll be to glue and stuff like that that'll be there. For you guys if you want to check those out and <laughs> here Miranda up there yelling and I found my little towel here and this is it guys normally you guys know I like to pop things up but like with him since he already has a lot going on unless I mean if you want this kind of you can pop him up and leave this kind of sticking out, but I was just gonna go ahead and flatten it out. Um, so for this one, I will use 
a tacky glue and I'll stick everything down, put glue on pretty much everything but um, his little arm. So I am going to put glue everywhere. I guess if you want his little foot to be dimensional so you can have that sticking out. Of course, do whatever you like. Oh, after fighting with the tape here, I didn't show you guys how dimensional he is. Like, you can see it from the back pretty well. Hopefully you can kind of see, like, the divots in his little eyes. But I'll show you that in just a minute. And then, you know, put your little sentiment. I don't know. I don't know where I want to put him. I didn't plan that far. <laughs> And maybe just like here. So I'm going to have to hold this down for a minute, and then I'll show you the dimensionality of his little face in just a minute. All right, so I was kind of holding it down with the towel just in case glue came out the edges or anything like that. So cute. Let's pop out his little arm. Or, yeah, it's his arm. How cute! Okay, that's what I want to show you. Look, look at that. Look at the dimensionality there. So cute. And it's just from that tape. It just makes it so shiny and pretty. And I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I just made this quick, you know, video because I wanted you, I don't know how quick it is now, but <laughs> I wanted you guys to uh, know about the new discount code that you can use for July. So I'll have all the information in the description box there for you guys. And thanks for watching. And thank you, Lisa, for offering that code. And um, yeah, if you have a little sentiment here, wherever, I mean, you can put it sideways. We could have done the bamboo this other way and had him, it, you know, whatever you like. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.